In my opinion, there is rarely a bad day at Lake Tahoe. But you know what makes a good day at Tahoe even better? A balloon ride over the clean blue water. There's only one company in the entire world that launches and lands hot air balloons from a boat, and that company is Lake Tahoe Balloons. It is, it's the world's smallest aircraft carrier. It actually is 120 foot long and 28 feet wide with the, uh, with the arms out. It's a bit tricky to inflate and fly a balloon from a boat, but balloon pilot Sheldon Gruberger says, when you fly from the water, you avoid a number of ballooning challenges that are on the ground. Uh, unhappy landowners and power lines. And you take out those things when you put it on a boat here. This one-of-a-kind boat is known as the Tahoe Flyer. Captain Greg Collard says when it was built in 1992, the design had to be approved by two different government agencies. It's actually inspected by the Coast Guard and the FAA because we do have an aircraft on board. All right, enough talk about this boat. Let's fly. You can really feel that. You can. It's very, very hot. It takes a lot of heat to inflate a 110-foot tall balloon and lift 10 to 12 passengers. If I wanted to heat my house, how fast could you do it with that? So 1,500 square foot house from 40 degrees to 80 degrees in three seconds. <laughs> One burner. How far are we going to be able to see? You can see all the way to Yosemite very often and uh, all the way to Mount Lassen on a clear day. Wind directions change at different heights, so in order to steer, Sheldon raises or lowers the balloon by adding heat or <laughs> letting it out through a hole at the top of the balloon. One, two, three, throw your popcorn. <laughs> and to demonstrate how fast a balloon can move, Sheldon has passengers drop handfuls of popcorn. And it falls at 800 feet a minute, and then we pass up the popcorn because we're falling faster than the popcorn. Throughout the 50-minute ride, passengers rise up and fall down several times. At 5,000 feet, you get this unforgettable view of Lake Tahoe. Then on the way down, you get to experience what's called a splash and dash. It's where the bottom of the basket takes a little dip in the water. Have you ever gotten anyone's feet wet? I, I have gotten somebody's ankles wet one time, but never beyond the ankles. After the basket is done drip drying, it's time to land. Are you catching or is he landing or is it both? How do we, how do you describe it's it? It's a little bit of both, but it's more the boat catching the balloon because the, the crew actually will pull him down. Lake Tahoe Balloons claims they make the softest balloon landings in the business. That's because the basket isn't bouncing or crashing down into an open field. Thanks, Captain. Now that everyone's back on the boat, the real work begins, putting away the balloon. Trying to get this thing down, this is, you don't normally do this on land like this. It takes the entire crew to deflate the balloon and keep it from rolling into the water. The Tahoe Flyer is equipped with a series of extension poles with nets that help guide the balloon fabric into the center. All right, we got it. And a balloon trip wouldn't be complete without a celebratory glass of champagne. From the skies of Lake Tahoe, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.